I'm a happy Gomer. New legend reveal today. MLB The Show. Two of them, in fact. And perhaps I might be spoiling it for you right here. I am quite a happy Minnesotan, as you might imagine. But I do have a little bit of a gripe. My apartment building. There are two trash chutes on each end, right? And my door is quite close to one. The door is propped open, or it was, by four Domino's boxes. I had to, I nearly tripped, because nobody throws their trash away. It's terrible. Hopefully they can hear me. Uh, it, it's just gone downhill, you know, like the Mets when the Wilpons took over. It was good when I first moved here, uh, but oh lord, it's gotten bad. Anyway, uh, let's get into what you came and clicked on the video for. Not Gomer having this little piss and moan fest, huh? New Legends, live stream schedule reveal, more talking about today's feature premiere, which is going to go over the co-op game mode, and then we're playing MLB 22 tomorrow. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. You're not going to want to miss a first sneak peek, and MLB 22, I'm quite excited. Leave a like if you guys enjoy as well, and let's get raw into this. So, I was wrong. Admittedly, I, I didn't think it was the Eminem boys. Guess who it is? It is Joe Maurer and it is Justin Morneau. Okay, I, I was wrong. So what? But I'm quite happy to be wrong in this case because we are getting two childhood favorites. Of course, as you guys know, yes, I'm a Rays fan, but I'm quite a Twins fan as well, having lived in Minnesota my entire life. And Joe Maurer, again proves the thought that the cover athletes are going to be a big focus this year it was on every piece of marketing all these old covers there's a pre-order former cover star pack it's obvious you know hopefully we're still going to get david wright but we've already added ryan howard and joe mauer to that pack of course mauer being you know on it will be the show 10 and 11. two covers back to back never been done before that's a Hall of Famer right there, if you ask me. And then Justin Morneau, an MVP. Unfortunately, his career wasn't quite as fruitful. Injuries really derailed him. Uh, concussions in particular. It seemed like there was a two to three year stretch where he was out for a significant time with concussions every year, uh, which is really tough. But they are coming. They're going to... I'm coming, actually. I mean... I'm quite happy. I'm very much looking forward to this. Yes, Joe Maurer just retired in 2018, and he's already brought back. Could I see an argument where people want to see guys that have never been in MLB The Show more than a guy like Joe Maurer? Yes and no. The way I look at it, I played DD since MLB 16, right? But that 16 Maurer was hard to get. The 18 was released at the end of the game, and it was a terrible game at that, so I wasn't playing. And you had to do, I think, play versus computer games to get him. I'm very much looking forward to a Maurer card. I've hardly used him. Uh, I do want to look at a couple mock-ups. Again, big feature of the channel, Age Nation at this point. Uh, shout out to him. This is a sketch of a signature series Joe Maurer card. However, uh, I actually did make one. These are the stats that I made. Uh, so I, I guess somebody ripped it and just put their own card art on here. Um, but an MVP Maurer card uh, in particular should have more power uh, than a Signature Series card, which would still be good. It would just be more contact focused and, uh, you know, this isn't meta right it's probably not going to be the best catcher this card however i think would be one of the best catchers in the game certainly top three as we look at it right now and then justin morneau don't sneeze at him either um i guess i guess his mvp win was a bit controversial back in 2006 if his card came like this, good lord, you know, as I always say, make this like a fourth inning program boss or something, and really let this card shine. You're paying rights for this legend. Why just not utilize them, throw them in the back, and not have any use out of them, and they'll get like five green parallels because nobody cares. So Justin Morneau, if he looks like this, great. I think he's going to be a little lower, but uh, yeah, Justin Morneau, Joe Maurer, the Eminem boys. Two Minnesota Twin greats. Zero playoff wins combined. Feature premiere schedule. That hurt to say right there. Trust me. Uh, but the feature premiere schedule we did get. And uh, the biggest note is no franchise. No franchise mentions whatsoever. Uh, there's March to October. There's an entire feature premiere schedule for commentary. 
but interesting decision that they're continuing to alienate a mode that has gotten a lot of push. Uh, guys like Daddy Dimu, I've been seeing, he tweets very passionately about this. And of course, the franchise guys. You know, I'm thinking about um, RGS, I'm thinking about uh, Ant Ortiz. I feel bad for them, you know, because they're just isolating this mode, which is what built sports games entirely. Really dumb, really stupid. Anyway, uh, it doesn't make them money, I suppose. That's probably why. Well, that, that's exactly why. Online co-op and technical test, that's going to be today's again, that's going to be coming around 5 Central, 3 Pacific, 6 Eastern, Mountain Do It Yourself. I don't hate Mountain Time, just, it's just a joke. Um, and then technical test, which you can download that today at varying times. Follow me on Twitter at Gomes to Legend. I'll let you know when you can first download this, and it's playable tomorrow, I believe, noon central one eastern 10 pacific or some shit like that uh nintendo switch is getting its own feature premiere which should be interesting um they're really just going to showcase the game i mean if you're not going to play it on the switch i would still definitely check it out because you're going to get some sneak peeks probably a legend reveal as well um but yeah the switch integration it's going to play poorly but honestly if you just use it for playing offline for grinding and, you know, maybe if you have good Wi-Fi and you play it on docked mode, you can get away with playing a, an online casual game so you don't lose any rank points. Uh, gameplay updates, pitching, hitting, and fielding. That's going to be on March the 3rd. Again, these are all on Thursdays, approximately uh, 5 p.m. Central Time, 6 Eastern on Twitch and YouTube. Commentary. This is a big one. There's been speculation amongst myself and, uh, you know, others on Twitter here. Are they going to replace Matty V? Is that a possibility? Uh, he is now, of course, the Angels lead broadcaster, I do believe. Uh, he does go on ESPN a bit too, as does A-Rod. Um, my favorite commentary duo, no doubt. Um, but who knows? If we're going to get a complete new team, if they... If this was just a fuck franchise, we have like a five minute stream schedule. We just don't want to talk about franchise. So we'll just talk about updated lines that they say. But I'm gauging at least a couple new faces in the commentary booth, which I'll be honest, I really don't listen to the commentary. Uh, I mainly have my monitor on mute. Not because it's bad, just it's just not what I want to listen to. I'd rather listen to music. Um, March to October and presentation update. Um, it's cool. They're smashing these both. I, I don't know if they're going to talk about franchise, to be honest. Because if it was just March to October, they would probably say like, Oh yeah, we you know, changed the year on the calendar and franchise. There you go. Brand new feature. Put this on the back of the box. But with presentation update being in there as well, I think it's going to be just those two things. March to October seems to be their new offline baby. Which, it's a fine mode, I just want to play Franchise like it's intended. You know, Franchise in 2K is a lot of fun. Franchise in old MLB The Show games is a lot of fun. In the old Madden games, like Madden 08 on the PS2. What a good one. Uh, Road to the Show and Ball Player, I don't really care. Um, they always say the features are bigger than they are. Last year they added the podcast. I didn't think it was that important. Uh, ball player, again, I don't think that's going to correlate to co-op at all other than maybe put your ball player in your DD lineup. But you can make multiple ball players this year for what it's worth. Otherwise, I'd expect a lot of the same. The Diamond Dynasty live content and esports just one day before early access. So just like last year, the 31st and then... Uh, if you're central time like me, uh, 11 p.m. that same night, we're going to have to be able to go on the game if you get the Digital Deluxe or the MVP edition. So, uh, very exciting, I would say. Other than franchise, I'm interested, intrigued even, by this feature premiere calendar. And look forward to seeing what they have to show for online co-op tonight. Again, that's going to be pretty big. Make sure to follow the channel. We're going to be talking about that. Um... Yeah, so I'm pissed about franchise, but otherwise co-op, I I do think it could be good. I've definitely heard people say it's going to be boring. People are going to stop playing it within a couple months. That could be the case. I'm glad to see them even trying. You know, this is something that's been debated for a while, whether or not this mode could work in a, you know, MLB baseball environment where it's a lot different than 2K, where there's only five guys on the court at any given time. 
I'm really curious to see how this is going to play out. And we're going to find out tomorrow. We'll have a gameplay. We'll get it going. You'll leave a like down below. If you enjoyed it, of course. Don't want to pressure you. Uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Uh, try it out tomorrow. Download the beta. Have a good night. Have a good day. One of the two. Depends on when you're watching.